How's it going everyone? Thank you so much for stopping by, Tavius Place here and welcome back to my channel. Initially I had a different video planned for today but seeing as Stasis is being nerfed again next week, the Stasis PvP build for Warlock will have to wait until the nerf drops. So today we're gonna be talking about Void in PvE and without further delay let's jump into the video. Let's start at the beginning for those of you new to the game. The Warlock Voidwalker subclass has three different attunements. The Attunement of Chaos, Attunement of Fission, and Attunement of Hunger. For this build we will be using the Attunement of Chaos, and that is because of the Chaos Accelerant. Chaos Accelerant allows you to charge your grenade by holding the grenade button, or key if you're on PC, for about 2 seconds to make it more effective and deadlier. Now the grenade I recommend using is the Vortex Grenade. A grenade that creates a vortex which continuously damages enemies trapped inside. In other words, this grenade lingers and continues doing damage to enemies or bosses for a few seconds, which will be helpful later in the video. Also, the Attunement of Chaos melee ability is the Entropic Pool. Strike an enemy with this melee ability to drain your enemy's life force and use it to recharge your grenade. So we have a melee that recharges our grenade, a grenade that lingers in place doing damage to enemies, and the ability to overcharge it, making it stronger. Now let's talk about our exotic gauntlets, the Controverse Hold. The Controverse Hold gauntlets were introduced to Destiny 2 with the Forsaken expansion, so if you played even just a few months since then, you probably already have this in your vault. If you don't, make sure to check Zer every Friday for his inventory rotation. The Controverse Hold exotic perk is the Chaotic Exchanger, resisting common damage while charging your Void Grenade with Chaos Accelerant, Feed the Void, or Handheld Supernova, which are from each of the three attunements. Charged grenades return a random amount of grenade energy on hit, and this is what makes these gauntlets awesome. Just by hitting enemies with the charged grenade returns a random amount of grenade energy. Now let's talk about my stats. I like to keep my discipline at tier 9 or 90 points so my other stats don't go too low, and to do this you'll need some decent roll armor plus some armor mods for discipline to increase your grenade energy regeneration. With the new season of the splicer, we received a new seasonal artifact and with it new mods to unlock. The one mod I am using with this build is the Impulse Recycler. It costs 3 energy and it applies to your arms. Grenade final blows grant grenade energy. Also, multiple copies of this mod increase the amount of energy gained. So on my arms I have 1 Discipline mod and 2 of the Impulse Recycler. If you don't have the resources to masterwork armor, you won't be able to apply as many mods and your discipline will be lower. This is where some good weapons come into play. When it comes to weapons, as long as you find the type of weapon you like to play with and it has the trait Demolitionist and or Wellspring, you're set. Demolitionist is a trait found on many weapons, but my favorite is grenade launchers. Kills with this weapon generate grenade energy. Also activating your grenade ability reloads this weapon from reserves. The grenade launcher I like to use is the Salvager Salvo, which released on Season 13, Season of the Chosen but most other energy grenade launchers can drop with Demolitionist. Now for my kinetic weapon, I like to use the new auto rifle from Season of the Splicer, the Chroma Rush. This auto rifle can roll with Wellspring, which is a newer trait added to Destiny 2. Kills with this weapon generate ability energy. This energy is divided between your uncharged abilities. Reason I like this trait is because since a lot of what I do gives me grenade energy, if my grenade is full then getting kills with Demolitionist will be energy wasted, but Wellspring will give energy to my Rift or my melee instead, if my grenade is full. This Void build is similar to my Solar Grenade build. I will link it in the description if you want to check it out, but the difference is the Void Overcharge Vortex Grenades are much stronger than the Solar Grenades, but with the Solar build you can throw up to 5 of them, maybe even 6. There isn't much skill required for this build. You charge your grenade and hold until you see a group of enemies, or a boss, and just by doing damage and getting a kill or two, you get your grenade back. Now, if you miss your target, you can use your charge melee to get a kill and recharge your grenade or use your Demolitionist or Wellspring weapons to get your grenade back. Pretty straightforward. 
And there you have it, this is my Warlock Void Vortex Grenade build. I hope you guys like it and enjoy this video. If you do and find it informative, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe since 99% of my viewers are not subscribed. Also, let me know if you guys would like to see other builds or some short story videos since I love the stories Destiny tells and would love to talk to you guys about them. Thank you so much for your support, thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Peace.